We're going to be setting our time machines back to 1995 as we have a look at the Toy Biz Spider-Man the Animated Series Mysterio. Mysterio is going to be a bit of a small figure, and to prove that, I'm going to take the tape measure, put it next to the figure, to tell us that he's exactly five inches in height. Hey, this is pretty cool. He comes included with this raised elevated pin, or at the very least, that's what the packaging touts this as being, the collector pin. Theoretically, you could, I suppose, put it down onto like a collar, for example, but I find it works just as well if you bring this out as a support and you just put it in front of the figure as a front placard. They could have even added that in the packaging that you could use it as a display stand kind of front name placard as opposed to a pin, but I guess it could work really either way. The pin looks quite good actually, cast in green plastic and you can see they've just simply painted over top of it. Very cool looking Mysterio, one of my all time favorite Spider-Man villains. This was also the reasoning why I wanted to have a look at this particular figure leading up to the news is supposedly that Jake Gyllenhaal is going to be playing Mysterio in the next Spider-Man Homecoming movie. So very exciting news. I'm going to be interested to see what they do with it. The smart thing would be just to kind of keep him like this in his as much ridiculous nature as possible. Don't try to modernize the big giant fishbowl head. I think this is exactly the way that Mysterio should look. Maybe tweak, of course, a little bit of the costume, but at the very least, I would keep the helmet intact, keep this in all his glorious, ridiculous splendor. Now, one of the other things that the packaging advertises this figure as being is mist squirting action. That's specifically, that's verbatim to what it actually says. It says right there, mist squirting action. Now, what does mist squirting action actually entail? Well, for starters, it entails a figure that is generally pretty hollow, I have to admit, in the back. It looks like a giant cannonball has plowed its way through the back of a Mysterio, leaving this giant chasm inside. You'll see that there's two holes, which so happen to also line up with the holes on those little lapels, the parts that keep his cape intact, also serving as eyes as well. So what you're really supposed to do is you're supposed to fill this with water. Simply just, this is like a little spring kind of, well, you, we've seen these lots of times. You're supposed to squeeze it, put it in water, suck up the water, and then you're supposed to put it through the figure. Now the, that does help to fill in a little bit of the back of Mysterio. What it ultimately then means is that you're gonna have this giant, you know, accordion sticking out from the back of the figure. It was only by Lady Luck that I, at the beginning of this review, I had the figure with this already in the back. When I tried to take it off, it ended up just pulling the accordion out altogether. The very old glue, I mean 1995 glue to now, is not going to hold up very well. And this pulled out, and in some ways it actually benefited the figure because it does fill it in just a little bit. Not by much, because you're only only adding a secondary ring on the inside, but at the very least, you know, it. I'm not too devastated because in all honesty, I'm never gonna use the water, the water option on this anyways, but ideally what it would do if you could use your imagination is that you would press the button like this and it, the mist squirting action, that's a lot of quotes, it would come out of the eyes here of, uh, again, just around the cape area. So, it's a neat enough effect, but then ultimately, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna display him. I'm not gonna put water in him because I know water. If you don't properly clean out the figure, now this one's a little bit easier because the water's only gonna fill up this section here. But uh, I won't use the water because obviously I don't want to get this this whole backdrop all wet, anyways. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take that off. I want to talk a little bit of, quickly about the cape. The cape doesn't do the greatest of job of plugging in. Of all the places that it does connect, it goes around the bowl of his head and it plugs right into the hole in his head, just like that right there. But it doesn't stay well, doesn't stay intact well enough. 
you you bang it or move it any bit, you can see already it gets really, really loose. I wish there was a way to kind of keep that permanent, depending on how dedicated I am to keeping this figure on display. I may very well just ultimately glue that in place, so that at, least, at the very least the cape isn't going to go anywhere. As for the rest of the figure, I love the design of this. Again, one of my all-time favorites was Mysterio, and even in the, the 90s Spider-Man and the Spider-Man cartoon, Mysterio was one of my favorites on that show as well. All of the traits seemed to be consistent when it came to that 90s series, in that you had super souped up um, bodies, really, on all the characters. Even like Doc Ock, who you would never imagine to be a super muscular character, also looked like he was hitting the roids. So Mysterio, despite for the fact that his cape is just ridiculously loose and doesn't stay intact, I love the design of this figure. Now, for the fishbowl, what they've ultimately done is they've just kind of airbrushed white over top of the existing green plastic. It may seem cheap and kind of just like a rushed attempt, but I actually don't mind it. From a distance, it doesn't look too, too bad, even though ultimately it's just the same green mold. You're just airbrushing the top of it. The rest of his body is of that same green plastic. It's a very bright green, and actually through camera and lighting, it looks a lot brighter than what it does in person. In person, it actually looks just like something like an Incredible Hulk sort of green. He has the yellow gloves, yellow belt, yellow boots, and of course the little yellow eye lapel pins or the little pins that he's got on the front of his, of his cape here. The cape, though, is just frustrating to no end. I may, I said it already, but I probably will glue that in place just so it's not going to go anywhere on me. Mysterio sadly doesn't come with any sort of accessories. Basically, basically what you see is what you get, and it also, of course, what you also got was the little pin. And I guess if you want to count it as an accessory, you also got the little whoosh, 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 accordion uh, spray mister. Uh, posability on this guy, he doesn't have anything in the head. I'm just going to take the cape off for the time being, just so I can show the articulation. Because I really wouldn't be able to move the arms anyways. That cape would just ultimately pop off. Uh, so he has no head articulation. His arms rotate all the way around. That could be actually said for both. I do find this figure, by the way, a little on the... I don't want to say sticky, but it's got a certain texture feel to it. That it feels a little on the slick side. Like I said, the hands... Oh, by the way... He does have elbow articulation, but I also want to show you he's got the, the little eyes on the interior of his hands. That's pretty cool. I like that. No waist swivel. Legs simply go forward and back, and he's got a hinge on the knee. Unfortunately, these are around the time period in which figures were getting more articulation, but the trade-off was that you had these big noticeable uh, bolts kind of running through anything that connected to itself. So like you have these very noticeable silver... Uh, almost rivet points uh, in which the hinges would sit through this pin. You have it noticeable on the elbow. You also have it noticeable on the knees and down by his feet there. He has peg holes on the undersides of his feet, though he doesn't come with a display stand. Uh, now, back in the day, they may have also had vehicles available, so it would explain why perhaps he may have had peg holes on the undersides of his feet. I mean, the figure stands perfectly fine anyways, even if you add the ridiculously always frequently falling off cape figure does stand perfectly fine and like I said even though this is advertised as a pin it does look good having that little little placard there on the front of the figure here when you have them on display oh Mysterio how ridiculous you may look and yet I love you so much always love the design of Mysterio I hope if we do eventually get Mysterio in a spider-man sequel they'll kind of stay rooted to this sort of design We've seen so far that the Marvel Cinematic Universe does stay pretty true to its core, so I'm hoping Mysterio will stay with the fishbowl head. Don't, don't modernize the design of Mysterio. Keep him as ridiculous as he is currently looking at now. Keep that going in the, in the Cinematic Universe. As for traveling back in time, which is what we did here with the Toy Biz 1995 uh, Spider-Man animated series Mysterio, he's a nice looking figure. He's got some good coloring. He's got posability, which is always a plus. Um, the only thing that is a bit of a detriment to the figure, well, actually two things, one of which is the cape. The cape just does not stay in place. It falls off way too frequently. Um, I don't know why they would have made it so that the cape is removable. 
if that peg and hole were intended to keep the, the cape in place, I don't know why Toy Biz simply just didn't glue the cape in and call it a day. The other thing is, is his mist squirting action. You can't see it right now, but I'm doing the quotation fingers. Mist squirting action is on paper what you pretty much would expect it to be. You fill it up with water, it squirts water out of the eyes of the area of his torso, and that's a mist squirting action. Um, I didn't show it in this video, sorry. It was just for the fact that I didn't want to get water everywhere. And ultimately, I mean, as I describe it to you, it pretty much would do exactly that. You'd have two little holes squirting out water. Bazinga, bada binga, there is the water squirting action. So as a whole, like the look of Mysterio, I always try to find ways to pick up more Mysterio figures. And uh, a pretty cool figure here, just a couple little shortcomings. That's about it. Today, like I said, we were having a look at the Toy Biz. Um, uh, this I keep wanting to say Amazing Spider-Man, but this was the new animated series Spider-Man. Mist Squirting Action Mysterio from 1995. You guys want to see more of these retro videos? Uh, there's actually a whole playlist on this channel dedicated to retro retro spots. In addition to that, as you probably saw, this, this uh, video, this review, also features a brand new intro, which means that I will be doing more and more of these retro figures and retro uh, toys from back yesteryear. So if you guys are into the old retro toys, there's going to be a lot coming your way in the next couple of months, so stay tuned for that. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. Thanks for commenting down below, and I'll see you next time.